A 13 by 9 inch baking pan is a kitchen essential, yet not all pans can withstand high oven temperatures or the direct heat of the broiler. So Adam's here today with a whole new lineup of dishes that are durable. You know, broiler temperatures can go up to 550 degrees. That's not safe for our favorite glass pan. It's not safe for our favorite metal pan, which is why you need a broiler safe 13 by 9 baking mm -hmm. pan. We have a lineup of seven different dishes here. The prices range from about $37 to about $110. <laughs> They were all roughly 13 by 9 inches, and the capacities ranged from 3 to 5 quarts. Wow. Now, in each dish, testers made three dishes. One of them was a yellow cake, which they cut right in the dish mm. to see if they were scratch resistant enough. They also made mac and cheese, which you have in front of you, and a salmon dish with rice and vegetables. And those two, they served right out of the dishes with metal spatulas, again, to see whether the dishes were going to be scratch resistant. And I'll tell you the truth, all of these cook the food just fine. Well, that's good news. Yeah, that's very good news. And so the testers' preferences came down to two design factors. One of them was the type of handle. Mm -hmm. You can see, like, right here, mm -hmm. we have these little sort of tab handles there. Whereas something like this is a big loop handle. That looks sturdy. It is sturdy. I want you to put on those oven mitts down there and pick oh. up the mac and cheese in this dish with the tab handles. Oh, that's dicey. If it was hot and there are people in the kitchen, I would be a little nervous about that. Exactly. Now that's try the slippery. loops. Yeah, there's no slip in here because you can really put your fingers through the loops and that gives you a lot of security. Yeah, it's much more secure. So testers preferred the looped handles. They also talked about the capacity. Now, testers found a range in capacity from the low end of about 12 cups to the high end of 19 and 3 eighths cups. That's a big difference. It was a big difference. And that's due in part to the height of the sides, which ranged from two and a quarter inches to about three inches. Hmm. Now, the problem with the smaller ones is that it was sort of a tight fit for the salmon and vegetable recipe. They had to do a little maneuvering to get it all in there. Also, because the dish was smaller, the mac and cheese sat up a little higher. So when they were scattering those breadcrumbs on top, it was easier to scatter them around rather than in the dish. And it can cause things to bubble over more easily. Exactly. That's a problem. You're going to get your oven messy. Now, there was also a problem with the dishes that were really big. The biggest one was 19 and 3 eighths cups. Mm. The mac and cheese sat down kind of low, and a couple of testers thought that it looked a little sad and lost. <laughs> so, I've seen that. It is sad looking. It is. You know, so really, they they liked something right in between with a capacity of about 14 to 16 cups. And in the end, this is the winning pan. This is the Mrs. Anderson's baking lasagna pan with handle. It's got a capacity of 14 and a quarter cups, so it's right in that sweet spot between the small ones and the big ones. And it's $37, which was the least expensive one of the bunch. Mm, I like it. So there you have it. Our winning 13 by 9 inch dish is by Mrs. Anderson. It's a baking and lasagna pan with handle, and it's about $37. Thanks for watching Cook's Country from America's Test Kitchen. So what'd you think? Leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make or just say hi. Now you can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>